Okay, beloved brethren, so again, we were talking about how God um, told Jacob, your name is now Israel. It's one person. And in the same way, Jacob's trouble, the time of affliction, Jesus went through affliction, the apostles went through affliction and oppression, the, uh, the prophets went through affliction and oppression of the devil, and saints all have gone through affliction, oppression, and all of God's people who are lit by the light of um, of God um, and the Holy Ghost fire, mainly the Holy Ghost fire. I mean, uh, people who get baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and that are in uh, church buildings or out there, a lot of them aren't feeling any affliction, okay? Um, these are uh, prophets, the, the apostles of Jesus Christ, and those who turn um well we're going to talk about this is this is a, a controversial subject because a lot of people have different ideas but the holy spirit has to lead you in the understanding and give you the understanding um so the father of lights father of spirits uh, showed me that he had i was up on mount zion with bibles with other people uh, and then the lord jesus took me up on a horse and white white horse like it was a unicorn, which represents the um, angels of the Lord um, that we ride, um, because whether in the the spirit or out of the or in the body or out of the body, the Lord knows. The Lord's spirit can bring us up. Jesus can bring us up anytime He wants out of the body and show us things. Um, and my mom had the same experience on Mount Zion, watching Jesus, you know, talk to people. And I believe that was us because we had the Bibles. And so she saw it as Jesus. I saw it as we had Bibles. Before the flood came down below, we were watching the flood from up high. And then my mom had that experience where she was bringing, we've had many of these. I could go on and on for, I don't have enough room on my videos. Um, she was bringing some people up to this light where there was this ladder and she's trying to get them on the ladder. And as she was doing that, this monster dark creature came from below and grabbed her leg tried, tried to prevent her tried to pull her in um she had an experience where she was um watching people listen to jesus they were all at his feet uh, around his feet and gathered around him and she was um helping these people were being these people would come out of this darkness this dark area it would they would come out and they tried to talk to people who were you know christian believing in jesus and they would try to pull them in, but into the darkness and my mom would go and help them not go into the darkness and she would talk to them and tell them no jesus is the christ he's the way it's he's the only way and he came in the flesh and blood man um, but the darkness comes and tries to draw people down, okay, um, from the flock of God. Now, Jesus says he's the good shepherd. He will not lose one of them. And how is he shepherding? He's shepherding through us, beloved, by the Spirit. Uh, Christ is with us. The hope of glory is in us. Uh, Christ in us, the hope of glory. So that's how he's doing it. He's God the Father is willing and doing of his good pleasure in us. Hallelujah. And so he's taking our spirit with the, the apostle said, whether in the body or out of the body, the Lord knoweth. Another um, apostle said, you know, I'm with you in spirit because we're all in the Holy Spirit. So if you're a born again believer, I am, and you're over in another country, we're both in the same self, same spirit. And we're both in the same body, the same um, faith and um, our hope that's in us is by the spirit. So each of us has a measure of the faith. Uh, measure of the spirit as he has planned it's all in christ though the cup the cup that god jesus said drink of my cup and you'll have everlasting life so um so the same thing happened to me where i had an experience where i was in the spirit and i was getting i had a line of people I was getting them up this ladder I, I think i told you guys on the videos way whenever it happened a long time ago there was this beautiful bright ladder that came down from heaven i was getting them up the ladder i was saying go up and as i was doing that there were serpents coming up from the ground all over the place i also had experiences where there were serpents coming from the sky you know they're flying fiery fiery flying serpents as it says in isaiah 14 
They're there, beloved. He says, The serpent's root shall come forth a cockatrice, and his fruit shall be a fiery flying serpent. So they're up there, beloved. <laughs> um, anyways, but I was getting people up the, the ladder, which is Jacob's ladder. Jacob had a ladder. So Jacob, um, his affliction, trouble that we go through here, I believe is Isaiah 64 talks about that. And even Isaiah 14 says the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel. Because whenever we're part of Zion, uh, that's the kingdom in heaven. That's that mountain that Jesus rules on with his city. His city is his people. He is the king of that city. And uh, when we are here, we come down. I came down with the Father. The Father brought me down here. I'm not from here, <laughs> beloved. I'm from the Father's house, the house of Israel. Uh, the Jerusalem above, mother of us all, is my mother. And we are called New Jerusalem. So the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. He's talking about those that afflicted us, those that will join, the strangers will join and cleave to us. To, to, choose, to Israel because God chooses Israel. Uh, Jacob sustains troubles, but Jacob and Israel are the same person. Remember, he was renamed by the Father. Um, and Jesus, when he was serving God, serving his neighbor, also um, listening to the Spirit and serving his neighbor as the Father gave him instruction by the Spirit, just like all of the people of faith do, um, he was being afflicted. He was being tested by the devil, uh, tempted in his temptation. He was being afflicted by them with their words, with their trying to cause strife and contention and um, trying to catch him in his words. You know, these are forms of afflictions and oppression. But there's a spiritual thing that he said that I experience, my mom experiences all the time. Jesus said, I have no, pl no place to lay my head. Okay. In this world, during Jacob's troubles, you don't have a peaceful place. When we are for peace, we come for peace, and Jesus is known as the Prince of Peace. They are always for war. Okay, the devil and his evil angels and their demons that come from the pit, the angel of the bottomless pit, his demons and his evil you know, angels, they afflict us. They oppress us with their children. And um, so that is Jacob's troubles. And, and Jacob was renamed Israel. So Israel is that spiritual city. A heavenly Jerusalem is a spiritual city, mother of us all. And the heavenly Jerusalem are those holy angels who are ministering spirits. They are son, sons, of man, uh, sons of God, but they are also called son of man. They are heavenly celestial bodies as 1 Corinthians 15. I hope you re look up these scriptures whenever I'm talking about it. So if you turn with me to Isaiah 59, we're going to go up a little bit further from where we started. It says, Yea, truth felleth, and he that departeth from evil maketh himself a prey. And the Lord saw it, and it displeased him that there was no judgment. And he saw that there was no man, and wondered that there was no intercessor. Therefore his arm brought salvation unto him, and his righteousness it sustained him. For he put on righteousness as a breastplate, and an helmet of salvation upon his head. And he put on the garments of vengeance for clothing. Yes, J Jesus' word is his vengeance. God will recompense reward to his vengeance on his enemies. And there will be eternal punishment, torment uh, for them. And there is coming a time of trouble for the enemy. They, it, it says in the Bible that um, suddenly it will come. That fire that my mom t talked about, that suddenly the bo the waters will boil, and the um, it the feet where they walk, their feet will be burning, and where they put their hand, it will be burning. Also, she said everything's going to be burning right now. Everything's cold because the spirits of from from the pit are coming up, and they're from the the ice poles. Okay. They are coming up, and they're, they're cold hearts. You've heard of vampires are the cold ones. They call vampires the cold ones. So they, they seek our life because they are dead, twice dead, plucked up by a root, the roots, God says. They're clouds without water. Okay, they're like evil. So they have no heart, no love. They, you can't reason with them. They're like a narcissist. You cannot reason with them. Okay, they're, they're 
conscience is seared with a hot iron. They have no ability to love. God said that they are not, they're not, they're not able to do good. Okay. They may appear to be doing good because they've learned from God's people how to look like they're doing good, but they're really just, they're just evil on the inside, fully evil. It says, and he put on the garment of vengeance for clothing and was clad with zeal as a cloak. This is talking about Jesus. According to their deeds, according he will repay, fury to his adversaries, recompense to his enemies, to the islands, he will repay recompense. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. We talked about the spirit of the Lord, those that are led by the spirit. And the redeemer shall come to Zion. This is the city of God, Israel. And unto them that turn from transgression in Jacob, saith the Lord. So is Isaiah, or 1 Corinthians 15 says that there's the earthly that we're bearing, and then there's the heavenly that we will have, that heavenly garments that Jesus will bring with him at his, second, at his coming for us. When we, this mortal will put on immortality, this corruptible will put on incorruption, death will be swallowed up in victory. This, our living stone, was quickened by the Spirit so that we can be a testimony to those sitting in darkness. So that's what we're doing. We're testifying to them. So it talks about um, in Isaiah 60, verse 14, it says, The city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Jesus is known as the Zion, as the Holy One of Israel, and he's the one on Mount Zion. So he, the Father calls me daughter of Zion. And, and in Psalms of David, we see uh, Zion.